Hello, in this simple video, I'll be showing you how I can easily clean, dirty, show soles when it comes to Photoshop. So you can see that this sole right here is very dirty. And for the first video that I made, I was cleaning a colored shoe or it was a pink shoe. And I'll link the video for you guys above there so that you can watch that. But when it comes to a white shoe sole, I'm going to be showing you how you can handle this using frequency separation. The reason that's why we're going to be using frequency separation is because we don't want to tamper with the textures on the show sole. So I'm just going to come to actions and I play my frequency separation action right here. So just come and it doesn't matter whether you play 16-bit or 8-bit for this kind of technique. So I'm just going to play my 16-bit action and take the radius down and click on the show sole texture. And start taking up the radius and stop at the point where by the textures are just starting to disappear. So I'll go with 3.5. I'll click OK. And as you can see, for my frequency separation, it has three layers. So in case your frequency separation action doesn't have the middle layer, because I'm going to be using that middle layer to clean the show sole. So in case you don't have that middle layer or the empty layer in the middle, simply come. And select the color layer or the low frequency layer. Make sure it is selected and highlighted. Then click on the new layer icon. So just simply click on the new layer icon. And it's going to help you create this new empty layer between the textures and the colors. So after doing that, we are going to come to the brushes. Right click and get the normal brush tool. In case... So right click, get the, the normal brush tool. And for the settings, make sure the hardness set to zero. Soft round brush is selected. The mode is set to normal. For the opacity, we are going to be using an opacity of about 70 or 71% with a flow of 100%. So the technique here is once you start painting, don't let go of the left click button until you have finished painting on a particular or specific area of the shoe. So I'm going to be doing this. So select this empty layer. And in case you don't feel like you're going to be precise with the painting, first of all, select the low frequency layer and get the quick selection tool and you select the shoe itself or the sole of the shoe. And when that is selected, just come back to the empty layer that you created initially before. So this time around, you just want to sample color from the shoe sole itself. So I'm just going to come and I choose a clean part of the shoe sole. So select the brush once again by pressing B on the keyboard and sample a color on the shoe sole that is clean. So hold on the option key on the keyboard and you left click on an area you feel is clean enough. And after doing that, simply, like I said, once we start painting, there is no going or letting go of the left click button. And when you're using a stylus or retouching tablet, simply start painting. So make sure that the size of the brush tool is small enough. So you can see I'm painting in all at one go. So just do this. And you can see how simple this is. And you can start we're removing all the dirt from affecting the shoe. But I'll be showing you how you can even get a cleaner result. This is not the end for this tutorial because sometimes the results may not be nice and clean or appealing. So I'm just going to paint just right there. And you can see that the shoe is now very nice and clean. Or it is getting to the white color that it was meant to have. So after ensuring that I've painted on each and every area of the shoe. I'm going to simply show you the before and after before, after before, after. So for cases whereby we still have these dirty areas or patches, you can simply correct that by getting to the low frequency layer and simply come and get the mixer brush tool and you reduce on the size and you try to blend this to be part of Just try to blend them. So you can see before, after. So in case you want it to be all look whiter, because we have a little bit of 
a color tint towards uh, the show area. So just come and select this layer. Then come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. So when that is created, click on the clipping mask icon. So click on the clipping mask icon and simply come the saturation and reduce on the saturation. And that is going to create a look that is close to white. So to enhance this even more, we are going to come and create a selective color adjustment layer. Then come and target the whites of the image and clip it also to the layer below by clicking on the clipping mask icon. Then you're going to come to the yellows and play around with the yellow slider. So I'm just going to leave this up to by removing yellows from the shoe sole, just like that. So depending on the color that you have or any tint that you have. So in case the shoe is having more greens, move the slider towards the left hand side. And in case you have more yellows under the shoe sole or blues, you can move it towards at this right hand side. So depending on the look that you're trying to go in for. So you can see I've gone for negative 67 for this case. And you can even play around with the black values to see how it is going to be affecting the image. So I'll go with around a negative 44. So you can see the before and after for just applying that. So, this is what we've been able to achieve so far. But by the way, make sure it is clipped to this layer. Make sure this, this it has this icon or this arrow clipping mask icon. So you can see that we have been able to whiten the shoe. Let me show you the before and after for just this simple technique or simple process. This is the before, after, before, after. So in cases whereby the shoe has different colors under the shoe sole or this area of the shoe sole you can as well perfect that so for my shoe sole i still have these annoying lines on the shoe sole so i'm just going to be handling that right now so i'll create a stamp visible layer by pressing shift option command e shift option command e shift alternate control e for our windows right click and get the patch tool so with the patch tool selected, make sure it is set to normal. And I'll simply try to patch this area. So I'll just draw around them and try to drag them on a slightly cleaner area to replace them with slightly cleaner colors. So I'll do this just like that. So to blend these areas even more into the shoe sole, I'll show you how to do this. So get the Mr. Brush tool and try to blend those colors using the Mr. Brush tool. Just be soft uh, with the painting process because you don't want it to be very smooth and a little bit unnatural. So for this small part cause under the shoe or that part cause, get the spot healing brush tool and get it to look very small or tiny and you can paint over those tiny that part cause under or below the shoe to correct or remove them from affecting the shoe control minus so you can see the shoe is very nice and clean let's see the before and after for this process this is the image before after before after before after so this is how you can easily clean that shoe soles when it comes to photoshop and in case you have loved this video don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you are not a subscriber yet to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and, and I will see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.